Hello everyone. The next topic is chapter 19, mean and median. See, chapter 19, mean and median for ungrouped data only. First, let us start with the topic mean for ungrouped data. This formula we have already learned in class 6 and 7 and 8 also. But let me start from the beginning. See here, let x1, x2, x3 up to xn are n number of observations for ungrouped data and x mean, this is the symbol about the mean of n observations, then mean is given by x mean is equal to sum of the n observations, that means sum all these observations and divided by number of observations, that means count. There is n number of observations. Therefore, x mean is equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3 up to xn and whole divided by n. And this also can written by summation of xi. i is any variable for 1, 2, 3 up to n. That's why we are written over here i equal to 1 up to n, i equal to 1 up to n and whole divided by n, n is number of observations. Where i is lies between 1 to n where 1 and n are included even these expressions can be written in this form 1 by n of summation of xi where i is equal to 1 to n even you can write this one simply 1 by n into summation of xi only this also you can write this is also correct so this is the basic formula for the ungrouped data to find the mean. And let the example, let me take one example related to the mean. Find the mean of x plus 3, x plus 5, x plus 7, x plus 9, up to x plus 11. So, what is the formula? x mean is equal to sum of the observation divided by number of observations. See, sum all these observations x plus 3, x plus 5, x plus 7, up to x plus 9, x plus 11. And how many number of observations? Just count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Since 1 comma, that means there is one, no, one data. That means this comma represent before there is exactly one data. And after this comma, that means 1 and 2. Similarly, for each comma, separate one element. Therefore, number of 5 observations are there. And x 5 times, that, that means 5x. And 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11. Hidden in the bracket and divided by 5. Therefore, 5x plus 35 divided by 5 is equal to take the 5 common from both expressions. So, 5 times x plus 7 divided by 5 is equal to x plus 7. This is of your answer. And related to the mean, we have 5 basic properties. So, properties of mean, that means x mean. See, I am explaining here properties of mean with the example. See, Find the mean of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The x mean is equal to sum of 5 elements divided by 5 will be 3. The first property is what? The first property if you add 2 in each term, if you will add 2 in each term, then the new mean will be also added by 2 in the new mean. That means Suppose this is the x1 mean. So about the properties x mean plus 2. x mean is equal to this one. And plus 2, they are added by 2. If you are added by 3, write 3. If you are added by 5, you write 5. That means new mean will be what? Mean is equal to 3 and add addition number is equal to what? 2. So 3 plus 2 is equal to what? 5. Similarly, for the subtraction property, subtraction property, that means if you subtract 1 from each term, then new mean will be what? x mean minus 1, that means 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. See, this is the important property that is called the deviations of an observation. Suppose, this example is also related to the this example. That means, if x1, if x mean is the mean of 5 from the example, that is from here, of 5 number, that means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of observation this, then sum of deviations, that means sum of deviations of x mean, x mean is equal to what? 3. From the observations, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 will be 0. That means you can write this sentence or 
properties by summation of x minus x b is equal to 0. This is called deviations about the mean of n observations. See, x we have provided 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and x minus x mean you find first. So, x is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here it is and x mean is equal to what? 3 and find 1 minus 3 will be minus 2, 2 minus 3 is equal to minus 1, 3 minus 3 will be equal to 0, 4 minus 3 is equal to 1, 5 minus 3 is equal to 2 and after that you add, that means you have add all these deviations, that means after additions you will get 0, that is the properties of property number 3. Now the next property, property number 5, multiplication property, that means multiply by 2 in each terms, then new mean will be x mean into 2 that means x mean is equal to 3 into 2 that means 3 into 2 is equal to 6 and now the division property if, if you divide each term by 2 then new mean will be x mean divided by 2 is equal to 3 by 2 is equal to 1.5 because see since I have taken the example of the constant number only it is not fixed you may divide by 2 you may multiply by 7 according to that it will be changed and based on mean based on properties of mean i have provided one questions and the, these questions you have to do in the copy and also you attempt exercise exercise 19 a okay thank you After mean, we have the next topic which is median. See, second one is the median for ungrouped data. What does mean by median? Median means to find median term. That means how to find median term. See, what is the step to find the median? Step one, arrange data either ascending or descending order. So first, you arrange the data data in order of ascending or descending so this is here number two count number of observations suppose it is n and in step number three number of observations is n then if if n is odd then median is equal to n by one n plus one divided by two the observations that means n we have counted over here see one example based on odd number of observations that means find the median of this 18, 30, 39, 36, 28, 27 and 30. First you arrange in ascending or descending order the I arrange here in ascending order. So after arranging ascending order 18, 27, 28, 30, 30, see here 30 twice that means you must write the same data again don't miss it. 30, 36 and 39. See, count number of observations 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 which is odd. Therefore, we apply this formula n plus 1 divided by 2 it. that means in place of n replace n by 7. So, 7 plus 1 divided by 2 will be equal to 4th observations. Count 1, 2, 3, 4 that means 30. So, middle value will be 30. That means see here what does mean by middle term. Look. Before 30, 1, 2, 3 and after 30, 1, 2, 3. That means 30 is the equidistance from LHS or RHS side. That is why 30 is called the middle term. Now, the second step 3, second part, if n is even, if n is even, then how to find middle term? So, middle term is equal to n by 2th observations plus n by 2 plus 1th observations and divided by 2. That means there are two observations. That is why we are finding here mean. That is why we are divided by 2. See the example based on even number of observations. Find the mid median of 3, 7, 6, 4, 5, 9, 11 and 7. First two are the data in ascending order. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 9 and 11. See number of observations count it is 8 which is even that means you have to apply the formula to find the median this. So 1 by 2 n is equal to n is equal to what 8. So 8 by 2 8 by 2 plus 1 f observations. So 4 plus 5 observations. So 4th observations 1 2 3 4 6 
and fifth observation will be 7. So 6 plus 7 will be 13 by 3 is equal to 6.5. That means the middle term will be lies in between 6 to 7, that means here it will be lie. Now, related to the median, I have considered one example from exercise 19D, question number 5. Read that questions and I solve here and see this one. The median of observations this in ascending order, that means it has already arranged in ascending order and median provided you 18, find the value of x. That means observations are in ascending order which are already provided and count this, the number of observations is equal to 9 which is odd, that means we have to apply this formula. So, so number of observations is equal to 9, so median value is equal to what? 9 plus 1 divided by 2 is equal to 10 by 2 is equal to 5th observation. So, 5th observations will be what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, x plus 5. So, replace 5th observations by x plus 5 and simplify this one after transformations x on from RHS to LHS. So, x is equal to 18 minus 5 is equal to 13. Is it clear? I hope all of you are able to understand this topic and after this topic, you complete the exercise 19B and 19C. Thank you.